Olympic bronze medalist and six-time U.S. champ Marlena Esparza will spar six rounds against five-time world champ and current WBA flyweight world champion Karina Moreno. You can check that out on Saturday, March 16th at 1 o'clock in San Carlos. And the aforementioned Marlon, great to have you with us here on Chronicle Live. And of course, you know Victor Conti, who is instrumental in getting you where you want to be for this next fight, and our boxing insider, Ryan Macanata, as well. So let's first of all go back to the beginning of your career. A storied career at such a young age it began at age 12. I mean, what made you take up boxing you know, as a 12 year old? Yeah, I started boxing uh, really young for a female, but I, I started boxing because my dad was really into the sport. He never boxed, but I grew up around it. And it took me about two years of begging. And then <laughs> he eventually said yes. And then uh, I never stopped after my first fight. So it's been a consecutive thing for like the last, like, I actually started when I was 11, turning 12, so about 12, 13 years or something. Yeah, like. I can see how dad might have issue when daughter comes and says, Daddy, I want to I box. I, wanna, <laughs> I want people to hit me for, for a living. So. Right, and that led to the Olympic bronze medal. So congratulations on that Thank first you. American woman. Uh, I did have a question about this Saturday. You're going to be going against Karina Moreno, who's one of the best pro flyweights uh, in the world. Uh -huh. And I know that the Olympic scoring changes uh, as far as the scoring's going, that it's going to go from the old uh, amateur computer scoring style system to a pro system. So right. tell me how that is going to prepare you this Saturday uh, for that upcoming tournament. Right. They did change the point system, so it's no longer points to win a round. It's, more, it's the 10-9 scoring. So everything has to be more aggressive, a lot stronger. You just have to dominate the round. And go, sparring with her and having pro sparring and being around the professionals here has been definitely, um, it's opened my eyes to exactly what I need to do. And it's, it's good practice to, I mean, what's better to learn the pro system than to actually go against the pro. So it's definitely helping me. I've been looking a lot different and, and way stronger. So it's been good. Victor, can you attest to that? She's looking way stronger? She's way stronger. She's banging now. She's throwing these, these hooks to the body and, and she's, she's hurting her, her sparring partners. Can you tell us about the inception of your relationship? Well, it was in January of, of last year and uh, Marlene had been following Nonito Diner's uh, career and knew that I was working with Nonito and, and so she reached out and um, we made contact. I called back and I said, you know, you, you, are you sure you want to take on this baggage of associating yourself with, with someone with a history like mine? And she said, <clears throat> I think she was only like 13 when the Balco raid happened, so she didn't have many reservations. And I said, well, if that's the case and you understand and that's something that you want to do, I suggest that, that you and your coach should get on a plane and fly out here. And we talked on a Monday, and by that Friday they were here in the Bay Area. And what's it been like from your end? Oh, it's, I mean, working with Victor was something that I wanted to do way before we actually... I didn't think I was actually be able to do it. I was like, there's no way. So we were just going to buy the snack products and kind of try to do it ourselves. <laughs> but then when we reached out and he reached back, and uh, when I got the opportunity, I grabbed it. And it's, so far, it's been probably one of the best decisions I've ever made because it's definitely been helping me um, advance and continue advancing is, is basically the idea. You can't just stay at a standstill boxing keeps at, like it keeps getting bigger and sure. better so it so why? right yeah, absolutely well, marlon you've won the national title six times you're gunning for number seven is it any different coming off of the olympics and obviously the target is any is, is getting bigger and bigger you know how have you approached this camp so far um i'm gunning for eight. Oh. and uh <laughs> it's okay uh, people get it confused because the olympic year got um mixed up but um, the question was again sorry I oh, it was, you know, the target's getting bigger so how have you been approaching this mentally um, you just keep, I just want to win. It's basically, it's simple. Once you start making it complicated, then it gets difficult. It's very simple. I like boxing. I know what to do. I know how to do it. And I know I need to win. And that's, it's, it never gets any more complicated than that. Once you start trying to add in all the other components, then it gets messy. And I just kind of concentrate on winning and doing what I'm supposed to do.